Davy, you've said he'd been looking for a goal after the 90 for Shells. He got it tonight. Yeah, we were just talking about that, it there in the staff room, Darren. I don't think we've scored a late goal in the whole 18 months here. Um, so, yeah, listen, it's, uh, is there any better feeling in the world? Maybe not. So, uh, yeah, you could look at it. Yeah, we want to win the game, two points drop. But when you're playing against the top team in the, in the country, the best team that the league has seen in many, many years, and you dominate the second half, you come away with a point late on. It's a brilliant point. Truth be told, it's no more than it deserves. Without a doubt. Uh, here, obviously. Hats off to Rovers, we know about their quality. First half they dominated us from minute one to minute 45. But the proverbial game of two halves, you could argue from 46 to 96, I think it was. Um, we were the better team. They struggled to get out, pressed differently, brought the fire, brought more calm and composure and played with a real rhythm in the in the second half. And really pleased, I'm so pleased, I'm so proud of them. Early in that second half, we put them under fierce pressure. When we didn't probably get a goal after kind of two or three bites at the cherry, it didn't seem like heads dropped or there was any fear that it wouldn't come. It's about patience to make. No, listen, I referenced that at half time. I remember Roy Hodgson used to, to nail me and the lads at Fulham. You go down 1 0, and bizarrely, it brings a bit of freedom, if anything. Um, so there was a bit of that in it as well. I just said, listen, go out second half. Obviously, change a few things. We turned it into duels all over the pitch um, and asked them to bring the fire and just play a bit freer. And they did. And uh, here on every game last year, you could argue they dominate. Yeah, we went close to beating them, but they dominated us from start to finish. Whereas I think it shows how far the team and the squad has come. A small squad uh, in a year that for 45 minutes there in the second half were without a doubt the better team. You've spoken about personality and players kind of being brave on the ball. We saw that in Spades tonight. The likes of Will, Harry, Jad when he came on, just taking players on, wanting to beat them. Like, it says a lot about that. Courage that group. Yeah, they're young and that's when you should be playing without fear. Um, my friend was, I got older when I was a player that you probably bring fear to your game. But yeah, they're young boys and H um, has no fear in his game. He's excellent. Will as well, he's just come over, breezed into the league and you can see he caused mayhem all night. Just old fashioned winger uh, out in the side, touch line. And uh, yeah, I think he got a couple of them booked. And then obviously Jad, we know about Jad coming on. so. Um, yeah, excellent performances all around. There's a bit of Groundhog Day when we, we talk about big contentious decisions, so we probably won't go too much into it, but it's fair to say there were one or two penalty shows tonight. I think so. Uh, obviously the one there on the, on the 18. Um, yeah, we've referenced it a few times over 18 months and certainly over the last couple of weeks, Darren. Are we going to get it? Here. We haven't had a, a proper one yet. Um, I wasn't even calling it dubious. I dare, listen, I need to look at it back, but when I look at off the players' reactions, sometimes it's it's easy to tell, but we didn't get it. Lads just kept going. The changes at half-time as well brought a massive amount of energy. What was the thing behind it? Uh, yeah, to obviously change up our formation. Um, Jack will obviously be disappointed, so you know he's going to bring a uh, real edge to his game, and obviously Tyreek, just you know his quality on the ball, and just flipped. I guess a few things how we press so to be more aggressive on them because they dominated the, the whole first half you'd say and uh, yeah along with being one nil down and yeah maybe before that would have rattled us and they would have dominated the second half and penned us in it was just about I guess taking the shackles off and we took the game to them. We know something you referenced in the press yesterday but it does feel like that's the kind of game a year ago we don't get anything else. I think so yeah and um, yeah we just stayed on the game and Obviously aligned with obviously great performances all around the pitch. Paddy Barra coming back in, he's been in, he's been out. Uh, fitness, obviously Gav, Griff. But um, yeah, a year ago, you probably lose the game. You might lose it, two, three, whatever. But uh, they looked a different team, a different animal tonight. So please, and we're here. Let's not get carried away. It's two, guy, two weeks till the next game. We'll have a good competitive in-house game, I think, next Thursday. But uh, we're going to Sligo then and you have to deliver. As a manager, as a staff, is it hard to stop a bit of complacency creeping in when you're, you're rolling with 12 or 13 bodies and, and players probably do feel, look, I'm safe enough in my starting spot here? It obviously is difficult. You can't make your five, six changes. That, not that we would anywhere we need to, but, you know, even, I say, I guess Jack, yeah, we're rolling with not a lot of bodies, but we took him out tonight, give him a little breather. Shane brought amazing energy last Sunday, so just wanted to give him uh, a start. Um, so, yeah, we'll still chop and change you have to you can't go with 11 bodies for the whole season it's just not possible physically possible so um, yeah, it's not a big squad uh, obviously the, 
the transfer window didn't help. But in saying that, the three boys that have come in in the window, uh, H, he obviously hasn't got a look in yet. Harry Fisk, Harry Wood's been excellent. Goals and assists, another assist tonight. And Will Jarvis, brilliant tonight. So uh, yeah, low on bodies, but um, we'll just keep going. Obviously, it wasn't do or die tonight, but to get that point and keep that bit of momentum with everything so tight, it is a really important one at the home stretch. Yeah, it's potentially worth more than a point, and what I mean by that is even just their for the guys' mentality and their belief. You know, um, even the second half performance, you talk, take away the result and the points, that will give them belief. So uh, yeah, brilliant point, and you know. We're trying to get the weekend off out me in there Saturday and Sunday. I'm still debating this, but whether I see them tomorrow or Monday, uh, you know they'll bounce in and uh, be high as kites. The only blood on the copybook probably is the goal we conceded. It's a set piece. Were you disappointed with that? Yeah, um, obviously. Um, so we do more work on set pieces than anyone else. We've obviously had to try and change it up tonight. We've lacked a real bit of height, so um, we've obviously left two up the pitch, which probably cause a bit of confusion on with both teams. They've scored off it and um, we've still dropped the runner. Um, which is what I've said since day one. Um, you can talk about sets and how you set up and all, but still that individual mano mano, eyeball to eyeball, your my man isn't scoring. Somebody's man has so uh, yeah disappointing again. But um like I said we won't stop working. It's a tough tackling derby, are you happy as well with I guess the player is not shirking it and kind of taking that responsibility on. Like, you don't want to name names, but there's some real big challenges, and the players really like that. Yeah, you have to be in a Dublin derby, or you'll be sat beside me soon enough. Uh, you have to be on it. Yeah, it's a football game. More often than not, we're against Rovers because they're brilliant footballers, but there's, of course, an edge to the game as well, and there's going to be tackles. Um, so, yeah, really pleased. But here, that should be a given. The amount of kind of chances and final third entrances or whatever you might call them were you happy with that level like how well yeah especially well the second half uh, even the first half we had moments but again it's i guess been that that killer that killer instinct uh which i guess it's that calmness as well you want to be a killer but you have to be calm in the final third which maybe we lacked that you know and snatched that a few things tonight and um, here but outside of that wonderful delivery in the last two minutes of the game harry wood his technique is absolutely outstanding and Gavin Malloy pops up to crown off a, a wonderful performance from him. Enjoy the weekend, Jimmy. Same to you guys.